is made of. The notion that things, things that we touch with our hands, feel, are made of ideas or concepts actually is probably an older idea than we might have thought. Um, and it's a difficult idea to really grasp or get a hold of. But let me try to explain it this way. When we began to look at small corners of space and little pieces of time, we began to see that the objects that we discovered in, this, in these regions of space and time weren't just persistently existing. They were kind of popping, like bubbles in bubble wrap. Pop, 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 on and off, on and off. And in order to explain that, um, we wondered what they were doing when they weren't appearing as pops. What, what were they before that? Then we did more refined experiments, and we found that we could take objects and let them interact and fly apart, and then measure something about one of the objects, and we'd find that the other object would also change at the same time that the first object was even looked at. In other words, if something popped over here, instantly the other one would pop, whereas if we hadn't popped this one, this one would just pop randomly. So how could, how could pop one be connected to pop two when they weren't separated? So this gradually led into some notions that there was an invisible connection between everything. Physicists give this a name, they call it entanglement. Or we now speak of it in terms of a state or an invisible state. We call it a state vector or a quantum wave function because it seems wavy. It seems spread out over space and time rather than concentrically localized in one place at one time. Um, however, this wave function isn't just a wave of matter like an ocean wave or a sound wave or any kind of wave of matter. It's a wave of possibility. It's a kind of thought wave. And because it is a wave of thought or possibility or not matter, uh, it's invisible to us. But we can't explain what we do see as matter in these small corners of space and time unless we picture that these matter particles somehow come out from or emerge from these thought wave patterns which are invisible to us. Quantum mechanics is really the play and display of information, the play and display of potentiality, waves of information, waves of potential electron. And it's important, the word potential. This isn't the world of electrons, it's the world of potential electrons. But when you have, you have to ask the question, waves of what, really? What is the field that is waving? Is it the ocean? No, it's a universal ocean, an ocean of pure potentiality, an ocean of abstract potential existence. We call it the unified field, or superstring field. And that's what we're made of. Connectivity, among all things, is a basic constituent of the fabric of reality. It's very difficult to wrap your mind around that. But Erwin Schrodinger said, he's one of the founders of quantum mechanics, that entanglement, which is this idea of this connectivity, is not just a property of quantum mechanics, it's the property. It's the property of quantum mechanics that makes it very, very strange. And it doesn't seem to fit in with our ordinary world, our ordinary experience, but in fact, it, it actually does.